in the past, um, for we know for 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 U.S. distance learners, it's really um, a stretch to find information and to find sources to do your assignments. And we really empathize and sympathize with you guys. We we feel for you. And Mark and I have committed that this year we are really going to uh, try and find more online sources for you and even uh, try to provide uh, ebooks for you online so that you would be able to um, to get information much quicker and much easier. But in the meantime, what we do have is we do have EBSCOhost, which is an online database for journal articles. Um, and journal articles are the one that uh, are very helpful in the fact that it gives you the information that is um, more recent, etc. And uh, it would be good for you to have that access. And the good news is that uh, you don't even have to worry about how do you get access, et cetera, because once you have um, enrolled as a student here at BTC, you will uh, uh, get access to EBSCOhost. So we will enroll you automatically into EBSCOhost. Now, you want going to ask me, how do I do that? You're going to do that by receiving an email from us, from resources at btc.co.za. And in that resource, I'm going to give you a URL, so the ad address of where you need to go to. Please note that this is very important. If you uh, go, if you search on, on, on your web browser, EBSCOhost, and you try to sign in from there, it's going to give you uh, error messages, even though you may put in your login details. You need to use the portal that we provide for you to enter into EBSCO. So I will give you the URL as well as your username and your password that you're going to, to, to use. And once you've done that, then um, you will be able to, to go on to EBSCO and do your searches. Now, EBSCO is a very uh, interesting um, search mechanism. Uh, you can download an article if you found it properly, but due to time, um, we cannot show you exactly what we want to do and how we want to do it. And for us to, to uh, train you properly, I will schedule um, uh, an evening train session, an online train session, as well as we will make videos that will go on to Schoology as well, just to show you the, 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 the basics of how to use uh, EBSCO and, yeah, and so forth. Um, yeah, um, that is what I can tell you about EBSCO at this stage. Um, EBSCO is available in two ways. So the, the first one will be if you go onto your website, um, on BTC BEPS website, and go to the, the um, student hub, you will find that there's a, um, um, yeah, one of the down, on the down uh, men menu, it will say, um, um, resources or something like that. Um, sorry, let me just, I can't remember offhand, but yeah, so you, you click there and it will take you to um, to the, the information uh, page and on that Mark has very graciously uh, made us a button to go on to, so if you click on it, it will automatically take you to the login details and, and things that are happening there. Um, so, um, once you've done that, you will be able to do your search and that works based very easily, like a, a, any search that you would do online. It will give you, the, you can search a title or you can search a subject. Just make sure that you use the full text option which will normally be on the left hand side of your screen when you go into um, EBSCO, because then that will give you a, a PDF format which you can download and can open. Some of, uh, not all of the, the, the articles on there are for free, but most of them are. 
But if it doesn't give you a full text option, it means that you will have to pay if you want to make use of that specific resource. Um, it's fine, so I that's think. Fine. Yeah, okay. let us just, but there was another one, but that's fine. Uh, I'm just going, just see, that was that one. No. Uh, I can't see that now, Nee. Okay. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm just quickly finding, I want to give you the right, um, when you go to the student hub, uh, it was that one, Nee. I don't know why it doesn't pick it up as a presentation. Um, yeah, so uh, if you go to the student app and you go to library, um, and uh, if you scroll down, there you will find the, the button that will take you to, um, uh, that will take you to um, EBSCO's login page where you can directly log in. Otherwise, you will have to paste that URL that I'm going to send you into your web browser and then take it from there, go to your login and find it there. Does that make sense? Any questions? Any? Uh, un, are you now totally confused in, in what I've told you? Maybe at least if you can, even for, for those who are new, new, new students, new to education, just kind of explain a little bit about what a journal article actually is. Okay. Uh, so once you've got a book, um, it is easy to, to, to get on the shelf, and, and but journals are published. Um, so it's articles that are get, um, got, yeah, a certain publisher gets together a lot of articles. Mainly in our field, it will be, um, of course, theological, and there are also different, um, what, what do you call it, uh, different uh, uh, levels of, of things. So normally if we talk about a magazine, it will be something like Joy magazine, and that is very um, easy, e easy going, etc. Not to say that you cannot make use of that, but it is, it is more written for your general public. When you want a, a, a theological, very theological article that that uh, uh, concentrates more on on your subject, then um, what we we call those journal articles. And um, you can also go onto um, um, Google Scholar and find, you know, if you type in your, your subject there, you will also find um, a book, ebook resources, as well as journal articles there. And that is also a very helpful way to go about finding information. Don't forget the people in your church or your pastor. Um, they are also normally do have um, good um, uh, resources in their own libraries that you you most probably can use. Any of you have uh, or any any of you already used IPSCA host in the past? Oh, okay. I see a hand or two there going up, so that is good. But please try to um, please try to 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 make use of it. Uh, the college pays a lot of money to subscribe to that. Um, there's another one, Sahu, sorry, can you, Sahu has managed to do this for us. Um, let me quickly just go, I want the smaller quickly so that she can say that one too, please, Sahu. Okay, yeah, so, um, Yeah, um, to make to make use of of this because the the college is really um, trying to to provide you with the necessary resources to make your studies a bit easier in that sense. Um, but it is very useful to yeah desktop yeah that's it thanks. Oh, Sahu is just a star here. Guys, Mark said that she knows anything about this BTC, but she knows anything, no. everything about computers no. as well. No, no, no. Thank you. So. It's not the one? No. Yes, it is. That is it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. 
So yeah, basically, basically what I've told you, let's quickly run through it. Automatically subscribe. You will receive an email from us. You will receive login details for us as well as the URL to use. There it is. It seems a little bit long, but don't worry. It will be in the email that you're going to receive. You can go to your um, um, to the website and to go to library. If you scroll down, there is your EBSCO host login button. If you press on it, it will take you to the login screen. Um, if you have any problems, you and um, say for instance, you don't receive an email, um, whatever, please contact us, send an email to resources at btc.co.za. That is the quickest way you're going to receive um, response, uh, proper response, because sometimes I'm on the run here. Please remember, I'm also running the library. Sometimes I will be teaching. So if you want quick response, proper response, send, send an email and I will answer you as, as fully as possible on that. OK. Um, and that is that is in short um, what it is. An article is also a short version of on, on, on a topic. And I advise the students that if they start with something, uh, a subject, and they don't really know what it is about, start with uh, journal articles because it will give you a short overview of the topic and you will be, be, be uh, get familiar with that uh, specific topic quite easier and quite quicker. So that then when you start using uh, books and stuff, then you already know more or less what you are looking for and 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 what to concentrate on. Um, is that a bit helpful? I hope um, that that it will be. But mm -hmm. as I said, at any stage, please just feel free to send an email, and yeah, with whatever questions, uh, resources, questions you have. I don't work with a bookstore. I must just tell you that. Um, but. Uh, anything that you know related to your assignments as well, I, I will try and help you um, as quickly as possible with that. Amazing. Thank you, Elise. There's a question here about when students can expect the email with login details. Um, give us about two weeks because I also need to register you onto EBSCO and there is quite a, f a lot of you. But yeah, if you haven't received within the next two weeks an email, then you can you can pop me a, 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 an email on resources and um, I will definitely attend to it as um, immediately.